Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here for the continuation of the daily shaves. Uh, this is Saturday 16th of June, so this is number... 16. <laughs> I knew I was always good at something. Maths is my strong point. So it's the 16th shave of uh, the 30 days of June where I plan to shave every day in June. 30 days, 30 shaves, using a different razor, blade, soap and brush. Is that right? Yes. Um, okay, let's uh, show you what we're using today. The brush for today is the KSPD-1. This is the Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 1. This was the first one that was made for me by Ian Crichton and Arthur Lamb. Uh, it's quite a long handle, as you can see. Um, yeah, white brush, black polka dot, spotty bottom, <laughs> um, a soft synthetic knot. Um, yeah, I love it. So that's the brush I'm going to be using for today's shave. The blade I'm going to be using, some people don't like these, opinions are divided. Uh, Derby, Derby blade, brand new. I just want to try blades that I've, uh, I've got upstairs in my den. Um, some shaves I use. Paul Silver's Permasharp, Gillette Silver Blue. So I just wanted to use some blades that I haven't used uh, that, that kind of get neglected a little bit. So uh, I've used these before, but I find them generally to be quite smooth, quite a mild blade, so very good for the uh, daily shaves. The razor that the blade is going in is this. This is a Gillette, vintage Gillette Aristocrat. This is a, a twist to open razor. Uh, and this is in gold. Look at it, it's beautiful condition. Made in the USA. I'm not sure the exact year of this, but uh, yeah, there it is there. And you twist the bottom and the doors close again. Um, yeah, there's, there's not any date on the bottom of this uh, to kind of show you guys. It, uh, it just says made in USA, Gillette, registered US, patent office. Yeah, so nothing to tell me what they did. I think it'll probably be 50s, something like that, but great condition. Really nice. So that's the razor for today. Quite a mild razor, but good enough. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good enough for you, Kevy. I know. Uh, <laughs> the soap for today, I'm just looking at the front of this. This is a soap sample I've had for probably about two years at least. I think it was uh, one of the first uh, samples that this company put out. I don't know if they're even making the soap anymore. Anyway, K Shave Works, and this is a one ounce soap sample. They used to put them out in these little tins, and this is Midnight Cherry Bomb, and there's the ingredients there, you can take a look. Yeah, I've had this sample for ages and ages and ages. Uh, there's the soap there. I'm sure it used to be white, <laughs> but um, still a strong smell of cherry. Yeah, just cherry through and through. Um, I like the smell of cherries. Yeah, it's nice. So that's the soap sample, K Shave Works Midnight Cherry Bomb. Uh, and I'm going to be bowl lathering it in this bowl again. This is, uh, this is from uh, Supermarket Sainsbury's in the UK. Um, it has little dimples in there, and as you can see, I've pressed some of the soap into that into that bowl, and uh, it has been blooming a little bit. I put a touch of water in there. I just had a shower, so just out the shower, so that's been blooming. And uh, a little tip that I have found when doing these daily shaves: if you're bowl lathering, heat the bowl up in the water first, then just let it sit for two or three minutes in uh, hot hot water take the bowl out, dry the bowl, then put the soap in and it becomes more manageable. For me, it might not work for you. Your mileage, your mileage may vary. I know, <laughs> everyone says that, but it's true, it is true. Uh, what works for you might not work for me. What works for me might not work for you. Anyway, blah 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 Pre-shave, I've not used this in a long, long time. Parasso White. Yeah, I've been using, um, oils and stuff to for these daily shaves but um, 
I'm just going to use this. I haven't used this in a long time. Parasol white. And again, I think this was a. I think this is one of the first pre shades I bought. Just after I came over to this way of shaving. But um, yeah, it still works. It's still a good pre shave. Just uh, softens the bristles up a little bit. Like I say, I have been using oils and stuff like that, but I just noticed that today, so I just thought, yeah, I've not used that for a while. Let's give that a go. Brussel white. Uh, and you, could, you can also use that as a, a post shave kind of balm, but I won't be using it today. Yeah, it's good stuff. You can pick this up quite cheap. Uh, that's the brush soap blade. Let's get the blade into the razor. So how are you all doing? It's uh, the weekend and uh, I have been shaving uh, at night. But today I'm shaving during the day because uh, we're going out tonight. So there's the blade there. Darby Extra, super stainless. Yeah, myself and Mrs. Kevy and uh, a couple of friends are going out. We're going out to the theatre, darlings. Yes, going to have a night at the theatre. Maybe a bite to eat then. A night at the theatre. Marvellous. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> God, Kevy, you talk some nonsense. Okay, let's uh, get this brush some water in the bristles. Let's get some water in the brush's bristles. That's not easy to say. Let's get some water in the brush's bristles. <laughs> Give it a little flick. And I'll just dry my hands, get this bolt and show you this lathering. Yeah, K-Shave works. Make some great soaps. They've got a lot of soaps in their line now. Kevin and Kelly. Just gonna dip the tips. Yeah, this is a nice bowl. I find with the Kevy Shaves bowl, doing it this way, pressing a little sample soaps in, into the grooves works great, but at the end of the shave, um, there's always some soap left in the grooves. Soap left in the grooves, boy, you've got to prove. Madonna. <laughs> yeah, straight up cherry. Just gonna dip the tips again. Uh, as you can see, it's whipping up a nice lather. Adding a little bit more water. Oh, look at that. And the good thing about these synthetic brushes is you can really dig them in back and forward and just beat them up. Whereas with a badger brush or that, you, you have to be a little more careful with the bristles. Where they'll kind of break and come out and split. And... Wow, that looks great. Look at that. Nice lather. Okay, let's go to town. Yeah, number 16 on the daily shaves. So we're just over halfway. And uh, I have to say, I'm <laughs> thoroughly enjoying them. I will say one thing, it does take up quite a bit of time. I mean, I'm not filming the majority of the shaves. And uh, even then, the time you get your shower and get everything prepped and look at what you're going to use. It does take a bit of time, but always worth it. That's a nice lather. A little bit more water here. Yeah, K-Shave works. Uh, I'll put the link for their website. They make some great soaps.
any slather. I just ate some of it. Yep, cherry. <laughs> it's uh, the weather here has still been quite nice, but shh, it's a little bit dull and overcast today. So we'll wait and see how that goes. Okay, let's uh, get some heat into this blade. The Derby blade, the Gillette Aristocrat. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, people say about derby blades that they're rubbish and stuff like that, but um, I find them to be quite smooth actually. Uh, they don't usually last for me beyond two shaves. There you go. Still very smooth. There we go. First pass done. Great slipness on that. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come straight back. Okay, rinsed off with cold water. Uh, let's go back to the bowl, and I don't know if you can see that there's uh, lots and lots of lather here. Let's paint it on. The second pass, yeah, nice uh, cherry scent. Oops. Sixteen shaves every day. I never thought my skin would take it. Okay, here we go across the green with the Gillette Aristocrat. If I have time, I uh, I plan to kind of make a video kind of showing what I've used in each shave and just giving a little kind of mini review. Because I've been, uh, I've been keeping little notes how the shaves went. Some have been better than other, but others, but most have been pretty good, I must say. Yeah, most have been uh, very good. Very comfortable. Yeah, this is a this is a mild razor. Uh, under the nose, you have to be careful of the what's that? the uh, overhang on these old Gillette. I 
I have a, a friend who's in the States at the moment and uh, I bought some soaps <laughs> um, she's going to bring them back uh, I bought them from one of the buy sell trade groups on Facebook okay uh, so she has them now uh, she sent me some pictures and I was like oh, 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 I can't wait, I can't wait to get back <laughs> right okay Pass number two done. Wow, very nice. Okay, let me rinse. I will come straight back for pass number three. Okay, we're back for pass number three. And uh, there's nice residual slickness from the K Shea Works soap. Just make sure I get enough on for the, uh, against the growth or against the grain or whatever you want to call it. This brush is uh, it's nice and it's uh, quite a long brush. What's this, the 16th? So they're only uh, two weeks tomorrow to the, the Scottish wet shavers meet. Sunday 1st of July at the Gentleman's Groom Room in Dundee This ladder's flying all over the place Okay, uh, let's go Yeah, I've found with uh, most blades I've been using because they're brand new Most blades have been fine, they've been, uh, they've been doing the job great But uh, it's how long they last for the second, third uh, and beyond that, shaves. I guess that's how you can tell. Put blades on there, first use. Yeah, they're usually fine. And this is a... This Derby blade is really super smooth. Not the sharpest blade I've ever used, but as I was saying, because it's on its uh, first use, it's working fine. What's your plans for the weekend? Barbecues. Don't mention barbecue in Scotland, it starts to rain. <laughs> okay, three passes. Very nice. Okay, let me have a little rinse and a peel. Yeah. I tell you what, there's not much left to pick up. A little bit there. And I've got a little tip that I noticed. Yeah, yeah, just under here. That I noticed, uh, especially for me, on the pickup pass. Um, as you know, I've been using cold water, rinsing the razor with cold water. But there's little bits that I always need to pick up. Under here, uh, on my chin, kind of here, this strip, I think I mentioned that in the last video. And uh, with a cold blade, 
it's always difficult to get it really kind of BBS, but if you put the blade under a hot tap, it seems to cut the stubble that's left. Don't ask me why, but uh, I tried it the other night um, in one of the shaves, and I was using cold water, and I was buffing it here, and I was like, oh, it was still, it wouldn't shift. There was a little bit of stubble still left, just a tiny little bit. So uh, I flicked the tap onto the hot, uh, and I put it under hot water, really heated the blade up, tried it again, and it, it took it off in two or three strokes. So, um, just try it, see if it works. Let me know if it works. So, um, I'm putting it under hot water now. Kevy, you're talking utter crap. <laughs> no, I'm not. It works for me. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> I think that's the uh, saying for today. Your mileage may vary. Yeah, I couldn't believe that the other the other night when I was doing that with the uh, cold water. It was just this little spot here, and uh, I tried it under hot water and it worked, it removed the stubble. Oh, a little weeper. And one little bit just there. Nice slickness on that soap. Yeah, that feels great. Okay, we have a little final rinse. Nice. Okay, face wash with some cherries. There's still lots in here. Yeah, look at that lather. Very nice. K Shave works. Great soaps. Yeah, very nice. Okay. <coughs> I've just eaten some of that again. <laughs> yeah, I must be hungry. Um, okay, I'll have a little face wash with this. Leave it on for a few minutes just as I clean up my razor and stuff, brush. Then I'll rinse it off with cold water. And I'll see you for the post shave. Mmm, cherries. Here we are. Yep. <laughs> hey, nice shape again. Very nice. Skin feels great. Okay, let's go into the post. Boots, tea tree and witch hazel. Good stuff this. Just a little splash of that. Cleanse the face. Yeah, very nice shave. Okay, um, I have nothing, nothing cherry um, aftershave. I have nothing kind of to match this cherry set. So uh, I just, <laughs> I just pulled something completely random out of the blue. Uh, a very old school aftershave. Um, and uh, a lot of alcohol on this one, so it probably will sting. It's a uh, Jovan Musk. Uh, this is a nice scent. I like this scent. I've not used this for a long time either. Nice old glass bottle, kind of like a powdery barbershoppy scent. Yeah, good glug at that. Ready for the burn. 
There it goes. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's a dying down now. Very nice. Dries in quick. Great aftershave. If you haven't got some, pick it up. It's real old school. You might not like it, but I do. <laughs> Jovan Musk. Yeah, nice. And to put the protection back in, uh, L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra Sensitive Soothing Birch Sap Post Shave Balm. Um, I think I picked this up in, I think it was, was it Asda or something? I think it was half price, £2.50. So, um, yeah, it's good stuff. It doesn't have any alcohol in it, so it doesn't burn way too much. But that's okay. Yeah, and it has a, a nice light scent to it, a very light scent, but a nice scent. And uh, it looks quite greasy, which it is when it goes on first, but it dries in and uh, leaves the skin feeling great. Nice, nice shave. Let's be ready for Saturday night. Hoo -hoo. Very nice. No irritation whatsoever. Yeah, nothing at all. As has been the case during most of these daily shaves, I'm I'm kind of a little bit dumbfounded, but. <laughs> It's because it's good products I'm using, I guess. But uh, it's just, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's uh, show you what we've used in today's daily shave, number 16. Uh, we bowl lathered in this bowl. Someone said that looks quite hypnotic. <laughs> nice bowl, nice little dimples in there. That was the bowl. The soap we used was. A uh, sample of K Shave Works Midnight Cherry Bomb. Yeah, out and out cherry scent. I was going to say flavour then. Uh, out and out cherry scent. But great lather, great soap, nice slickness, cushion and glide. Yeah, really liked it. The razor, Gillette Gold Aristocrat. And inside that, a brand new Darby Extra Super Stainless Blade. Nice razor, nice blade, nice and smooth, not too aggressive, non-adjustable. Yeah, done the job. Beautiful, beautiful vintage Gillette razors. I love them. Excellent. The brush, KPSD, KPSD, I always say KP, it's KSPD, Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 1. Uh, a white brush with black polka dots. Synthetic knot, Ian Crichton and Arthur Lamb, icy shaving brushes. Excellent. Nice long handle. Uh, that was the shave. Oh, we started the shave with Parasso White, the old favourite. Uh, then we had a little face wash, a couple of little weepers there that the aftershaves probably brought out. <laughs> um, had a little face wash, rinsed off with cold water. The post shave was Boots, The Chemist, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Excellent stuff. After shave, Joven Musk. Joven Musk. Joven Musk. <laughs> you can see my face through that. Joven Musk for men. <laughs> yeah, it does say for men on it. Joe Musk for men. Oh, look at that face. Mm. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. I like this. Um, then finished it off with the L'Oreal Men Expert Burt Sap Aftershave Post Shave Balm. And that, ladies and gents, is it. Another successful daily shave for Kerry Shaves. Fantastic. Okay, um, it's Saturday. 
enjoy your weekend, what's left of it. Um, have fun. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I think some guys will probably be having barbecues where it's really nice and hot and yeah, throw a steak on for me, medium rare. That'd be nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so have a nice time. Uh, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your shaves. May they be plentiful. Have a fantastic Father's Day tomorrow. Um, those of you celebrating with fathers, my father's no longer with us. Um, but those of you that have your fathers, uh, tell them you love them and say hello. And yeah, that's it. Until the next time, when that will be, I do not know. But uh, follow me on Instagram and you will be able to see all the daily shaves. I keep uh, putting them up there, all the descriptions and stuff, what I'm using. Uh, and until the next shave video, I will see you soon. So have yourselves a great weekend, a great week ahead. Uh, take care and happy Father's Day. Take care. See you. Bye.